Hello guys, Lewis here. Welcome back to another video. And this is a very big one. This is about my first FIFA 22 Reels Mod Lite that has just been released. I'll go over what it is, what it contains, and how to install it. You probably already know of my Reels Mod, which adds so much more content and, and improves so many things. And uh, obviously, it's still in development for FIFA 22. Alphas will start soon, and I'll let you know when. But until then, just to kind of get you, get you until that point so you can play FIFA properly, I've released a light version of the mod. It's very simple, doesn't contain much, but just a few things that will hopefully uh, improve your game and uh, help you until the full mod is released. So in terms of the features, the basic features are that it contains licenses for Juventus, Roma, Atalanta, and Lazio, and it also fixes two EA issues uh, regarding youth players sometimes having skinny arms or missing the numbers on the kits. So to download it is super simple. You want to go to fightformods.com slash fifa22 reelsmod links in the description. Just click download light here. If you are watching this when the full mod is released, the light option will no longer be available here because, uh, you know, it will be replaced by the, the full mod one. So if you're watching this and you don't see the download light option, I recommend you go to my channel and you find my a newer video, which should be about the full reels mod. But just go here, click download light and it will bring you to this Patreon post. It's pretty simple to uh, install. You can read a few things here. You can see the features list. So it includes real kits for all unlicensed teams, banners, flags, scarves, crests, names, and then fix the A issues. In terms of credits, you can see who's helped with the, uh, the mod here. A lot of people. So uh, if you can go and thank them because they've done great work for it. But then you can go here and you can just select the media fire or the mega link. They are the same. Uh, one might be faster than the other, but the file is less than 100 megabytes, so really it's not going to matter either way. Uh, for this example, I'll just go with Mediafire. You'd go here, you'd click download. Uh, Mega, pretty much the same. You'd go here, you'd click download, and uh, yeah, that's about it. So just wait until it downloads, and while you're doing that, you want to make sure you have a program like WinRAR installed to open the RAR file. Uh, you may have 7-zip, which is another popular one, but if you don't have any, then it's super easy to download it. It's free. Just go to rarlab.com slash download.htm. Link is also in the description and click whatever language uh, you want there. And then it'll just download an exe and you can open it and go through the installation process. But as we can see, the file has downloaded, so we'll open that up. And then you want to extract this somewhere on your computer. You don't want to extract individual mods or open them like this. Just extract the whole folder. So. I'll just do that there. Once it's extracted, you can open it up and you'll see two files. You'll see the mod file. This is the one that actually adds all the content. So it adds the kits, the crests, the names, the banners, whatever. Uh, and this you have to install with FIFA Mod Manager. If you've not already downloaded FIFA Mod Manager, I have made a tutorial, which I'll link in the description. And I'm not going to walk you through it uh, step by step here. But you just want to go to fifaeditortool.com slash download. Click download on the mod manager. It will open the mega link. Uh, download this, extract it, open it, run it, whatever, whatever. Uh, you may not fully understand that, so again, go watch the tutorial if you if you have not done it before or already, and it'll help you guide you through that step by step. But yeah, we'll just open the mod manager, select FIFA 22, go select. Again, if you're stuck at this point, go watch the tutorial, and then the mod manager will open up here. I already have it installed, but you know, I'll just show you how you can do it. You can either just drag the mod here, and it'll install, or you can uh, go import mods and select it here so just open it and then you can either double click on it like this or go apply mods and then yeah if you have other mods generally you want to put the reels mod at the bottom of the applied list but uh, generally it's probably going to be the only mod that you're going to use you can see the description various things here uh, but yeah pretty simple you just want to click launch i would recommend for this using directx 11 but it shouldn't matter too much now, uh, because you are using the FIFA 22 version of the Mod Manager, it is going to be much faster than uh, the old version. So it should launch very, very quickly. The mod is also a bit smaller, so that should help too. Um, but if it is taking a while, just wait. Uh, it, you know, it generally can take, in rare cases, maybe 30 minutes or more. But generally, it should be within five minutes. And at this point, if you are stuck with anything, uh, you know, if you're running into issues downloading the mod, installing the mod, launching the game, something like that, join the Reels Mod Discord. It's free, takes two seconds to join. You can find the link on the website or in the description. Uh, you'll just create an account and you can message and ask for help and I'll be there to help you with any issues you might have. But again, uh, this mod does not contain any faces, any gameplay, any boots, any tattoos, any core Reels Mod stuff. Again, just the licenses for the teams and just those two fixes. 
So FIFA has launched and whatnot, and we can go and make sure that the mod is applied, but really what I'm going to be showing you in this step is how to uh, install the squad file. I made a specific tutorial for how to install squad files for FIFA 21. I haven't yet made it for FIFA 22, but you can check that out uh, if you're running into issues with this, but it's a pretty simple process. Now the squad file is not required, but it is heavily recommended as it will update some kit settings and team settings uh, just to make the, the licensed teams even more licensed. Installing it is pretty simple. You'll see the squad file in the folder you extracted, and then you want to go Documents, FIFA 22, Settings, generally on your C drive, and then copy the file. I recommend copying it and not uh, dragging it, because you want to keep another copy of it, ideally, so if you ever need to reinstall it, you can do that easily. In Game, go to Profile, Load Squads, and then select the Reels Mod Lite squad file. You can see uh, the name of it to help you uh, know which is which. And then, realistically, that's about it. We can go here and we can see Atalanta is licensed, Juventus is licensed, Lazio is licensed, and finally, Roma is licensed with all the kits and stuff like that. We can also go uh, into edit players if you want to see more detail. As we can see here, they're all licensed up and everything is good. So yeah, generally, that's about it. That's all you're going to need to do. If you have any questions, any comments, anything like that, I would highly recommend you join the Discord again as we can help you out and sort out any issues you might have. I would recommend you follow me on Twitter, on Instagram, as I sometimes post news there. And if you also have any spare cash and feeling generous, I would highly recommend you sign up for the Patreon. You can get some cool rewards. Like I said, alphas will start soon of the full reels mod, which contains faces, boots, gameplay, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, the, the Patreon support is more appreciated now than ever as we're going into the FIFA 22 cycle and uh, a lot of uh, very exciting stuff is happening. If you haven't already, I'd recommend you read my plans post where I go over uh, timelines and what stuff will be in the mod. And yeah, that's going to be about it, I guess. I hope you guys enjoy the light mod and it gets you uh, over until uh, the full mod is released. I know a lot of you requested it, so hopefully it's as good as you imagined. And yeah. Uh, more news coming soon about the full mod. So yeah, see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And actually, before we end, one last thing. Uh, please join the Reels Mod Discord server if you have not already. It's free, takes two seconds, like I said. Link is in the description. And uh, we're doing some really cool stuff right now. So please join it, even if you're not having issues with the modder stuff. We're doing, there's a channel called Face Opinions where I post pictures, normally two or three, of the same player, but different face, and you can select which is better. We're doing a lot of that right now because I'm working on the face mods for the, the, the full reels mod. We're doing some feedback uh, about gameplay, about the core reels mod, stuff like scouting, transfer, stuff like that. So yeah, please join uh, the link is in the description. Thank you. I've been running out of time, think I need a rewind, feeling out of life I put everything aside, hoping that I make it right, all the things I do for you